If you're looking to grow your YouTube channel, this video is for you. I will show you how you can use AI art to improve your video thumbnails. The goal is to improve your click-through ratio. Everything that I'll be using today is available for free. Let's get started. First, head over to playgroundai.com slash create. We'll be using Playground AI to generate images for the thumbnail. It is a free AI image generator. If you don't have a free account, feel free to sign up. And you can also check out my previous videos for more free AI image generators. I like using this one because it is free and it is very easy to use. Once you are in, we're going to make sure that we're in the board section and have Stable Diffusion XL as the model that's on your right. And now you can upgrade for a larger image quality, but we should be good with 1024 by 1024. Now on the left, you're going to want to enter the prompt or even upload an image you want to use. When you upload an image, it could be yourself or maybe even a drawing of a celebrity, for example. To keep this tutorial simple, I'm going to generate a thumbnail for today's video. It's going to be a woman holding a sign. You can see that I'm going to keep the prompt super simple and then just press generate. I currently have it set up to four image generation at once, but it's totally up to you. It takes 10 to 20 seconds to generate. You can see that these are pretty decent examples. If you're not happy, go ahead and change the prompt and redo it again. If you want something more animated, you can go ahead and change the filters. If you want something more city-like, you can also change that. With AI, you can essentially tailor it to your own needs. Whatever it is that you want, you can try to work for it. You're essentially sending in a request to get what you want. The more detail you give it, the better the output. These are pretty good, so I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go ahead and click on download right there. And then once it's saved to your computer, you're going to look for ways to upscale the image. If you recall, it was at 1024 by 1024. That is a little bit small for YouTube thumbnails. So I like to make it a little bit bigger so that it's not blurry or it's too ugly. You can definitely use upscale tools like Topaz AI or Upscale. Today, I'm going to use the web version on upscale.media. You can just head to that link and then upload your image for generation. Once you drag it in, you're just going to wait for it to process. It takes a few seconds. And then as you hover over your image, you're going to see that the quality has improved and that the size has doubled from before. We're going to go ahead and download this upscaled image. And now we're ready to design. You can import your photo to a design program such as Photoshop or Canva, but today we're going to be using the free Adobe Express. I prefer Adobe Express because it is very easy to use, especially for beginners, and it does have a built-in background remover for free, so that is really good. Removing an image background is relatively easy, and you can also use websites, and you can also use Canva if you have the pro version, but since this is built-in, we can just do it all at once. Adobe Express is the free version of the same company that has Adobe Photoshop, except this version is very drag and drop friendly, meaning you can design your thumbnails in seconds. Go ahead and go to express.adobe.com. Create an account if you don't have one. Once you're in, on the left, you're gonna click on the purple plus sign to create a working file. In the search bar, you can type in YouTube image or you can click on the suggestion. It says YouTube thumbnails. Once you have the file open, you can now browse for free templates. I do want to note that anything with a crown will be a paid feature, but anything without the crown is free to use. You can use it for anything that you like. As you browse through the templates, you can see that there are tons for you to use. There are thumbnails for cooking channels, vlog channels, gaming channels and beauty channels. Definitely take the time to see what works best for you. The best part is that you can edit the text, you can edit the photos, tailor it to your channel to match your brand. We're going to go ahead and use this one. As you hover over the file, you can see that you can click on some of the boxes. This allows you to change the colors, change the image, change the size. We're going to go ahead and remove the photo that already exists and then add our own. 
Just click on the photo, right click on your mouse, and then click on the delete option. Now we're going to drop in our photo. On the left bar, click on media, and then click upload from device. Make sure that you're importing the image that you upscaled. To edit, just click on the image. If you hover around the sides of the corners, you can see that you can resize. You can also crop the image however you like. Now, if you accidentally deleted the photo or removed the image or something went wrong, go ahead and go on your keyboard, press the Control Z, and it's going to go undo anything that happened. Let's make sure to resize this image. You can click and hold and then drag your image anywhere you want. Basically, put it where you want it to be. And now we're going to remove the background because it's looking a little bit hideous. Make sure that your image is still selected. Click on remove background. It's going to take a few seconds for Adobe Express to run its magic, but then now the background is removed. Now the text is looking a little bit cheesy, so I'm going to make sure to cover that on the sign. To do that, go ahead and go to elements click on the shapes tab, and then click on the rectangle. Now to get the color that you want, make sure you have the shape selected, go to the fill section. If you don't see the color, what you can do is go to the pen tool up top, click on that, and this tool allows you to choose a color that's on your board. So I'm gonna choose the color on the sign, that should make it change to the color that you want. And now you can resize the shape and you're essentially good to go. You can also lock the shape in place so that it doesn't move around too much. I like doing this so that I could place the text over things and it won't move around and make it a little bit hectic. Now you can add additional text or you just move the one that I already have to the front. Go ahead and click on the text, right click on the text and then select bring to front. Definitely resize the text however you want, move it around, change the text, the information. To change anything else on this board, you can click on it and then change the color. You can add new elements as well. I highly recommend for you to play around and figure out what you like, what matches your brand aesthetics. And that's pretty much it. When you're happy with your design, what you're going to do is go ahead and go to the top, click on download. You can choose the file format. It can be PNG or JPEG. I typically use either or, and then just hit on download. As long as you don't use anything that's paid feature, you can download for free. If you want a video thumbnail to stand out, I highly recommend for you to do some research. Regardless of your video topic, pay attention to what everybody else is doing. You're going to ask yourself, is my video thumbnail going to stand out? Is my video thumbnail easy to read? Is my photo a good quality? Those are all things that you might want to add to really make people be impressed and click. Remember that video thumbnails are first impressions. You want it to be bold enough and you want it to be simple enough where people understand what it is that you're selling. In my opinion, the more you have, the busier it gets. It's really hard for me to digest what you're trying to put on your video. I want to know what your video is about as soon as I scroll. If I can't tell what it is, then maybe you need to go back and edit a little bit more. I truly hope that these tips are useful. I definitely recommend checking out other AI tools and really utilize the AI image generations. Cause you no longer have to step into the studio, hunt down for photos, it's all there for you. And if you take a picture of yourself and let's say you want a really surprise expression, you can ask AI to change that for you as well. The tools are there to help simplify this process for you, to make it easier for you. If you have any questions or any requests, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I would love to learn to help more. Thanks for watching.